Garen, uh, Centre Half at Woking Football Club, and I'm here today to answer some questions from the National League files. Um, got my hood up because uh, I've recently shaved my head for the NHS, so yeah, not looking great. <coughs> um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm just nipped out quickly uh, to get to the shop, so I thought I'd just um, reel these off, uh, off the cuff as well, so literally not much time to think about it. So here we go. Uh, question one. What are my future ambitions as a footballer? Um, just to, to push Woking really as far as they can go. I'm a little bit more realistic now at 29. Um, you know, the dream to kind of go as high as you can is is probably past me now. But um, to sustain myself at least at, at the National League, try and push Woking into the Football League if we can and be a part of their success success story. Because um, I know they got they got big plans. So, yeah, just trying to stay on board with that. Uh, question two, um, who do I base my game off? Um, well, there's nothing really scientifically brilliant about my game. Obviously, I'm just a head it, kick it. Um, I'm sure John Terry and Gary Cahill don't want to be associated with me, but I would look to, to use them as examples of, of what I looked at um, when I was growing up, just because um, they put their hearts on their sleeve, they give everything every game, they were leaders, um, yeah, and they were reliable. Uh, and I try and be as reliable as I can for my team. So I'd say those two. Uh, question three, how am I dealing with the lockdown? Um, that would probably sum it up. Uh, just, it's absolutely terrible. Uh, I've got a three year old, um, so that's the hardest part, I'd say, uh, trying to keep him entertained within sort of four walls and you know, he wants to go out a lot. Um, so that's hard, but um, yeah, just trying to do the home homeschooling, which I know everyone else is doing, trying to keep me and my missus occupied by um, doing some exercises. And yeah, it's tough, but I know it's tough for everybody. So, you know, we've got to get on with it. And like I say, it's, it's important to um, to obey the rules. Uh, question four, best experience so far? Hands down, it's got to be the FA Cup run um, last season with, with Woking. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it was just the third round um, and, and getting drawn at home to Watford, obviously Premier League side. So uh, I would say the whole the whole experience. So starting away at Torquay in the first round, um, you know, obviously a little bit more special for me because it's my hometown club. Getting past that and then moving into Swindon. So expectations there was, was still hopeful. You know, we weren't looking at Swindon and thinking we're out, we're done. You know, we confidently thought we'd beat them. Um, so that was a great day because, like I said, we did achieve that. Um, and then it, it kind of changed a little bit because we drew Watford, which was amazing. And it was, it was more about just enjoying the occasion rather than actually thinking you were going to win at any point. So um, I would say the FA Cup run um, last season. Question five, ambitions um, of Woking Football Club. Um, they're huge. Um, I know they're looking at building a new ground, uh, which is going through at the moment. 10,000 seat or something like that uh, and I know they want Football League status for the first time in their history so yeah watch your space with Woking um, and like I say I just want to be a part of it for as long as I can thanks for listening and stay safe